Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a Facebook like box to your sidebar in WordPress or to any widgetized area you have set up on your WordPress website. Now, I'm just on uh, just like a basic WordPress site I've got here. And uh, what I wanna do is actually add something to a sidebar I have in my blog or my pages. So if you're not familiar with that, it's pretty basic. Uh, if you're logged in, we head down to appearance here on the left, over to widgets. And what you get is on the right here, a series of widgetized areas. I've got a sidebar here, several footer areas with my theme, and I can drag any of these modules over into those, into those areas. So anything from uh, yeah, a list of pages to an image and so on. But what we wanna do is actually get a Facebook like box on there. So if you're not sure what that is, it's basically like a, a small box which has uh, your feed, your header, and a little button that allows people to like your page on Facebook. And we want to add it in. If I tab across to my blog, I've got this little blog set up here. It's a, just a small website I use to sell some of my web design services in the local area, but not my main site. Um, I want to add my like box in here on my sidebar. So I've got like recent posts, search, and just an image. So I use this one a lot for this website a lot for demo just because it's a small site. It's very niche down to my area, but um, it's a perfect place for me if I'm gonna be having a few different websites around promoting my main business to pop that Facebook page on there and I can grow my Facebook page from those several different niche sites. So the way that works is I'm gonna pop over to Facebook. Now this is my Facebook page basically. And I wanna use this, uh, basically this page is the one I'm gonna put on to my uh, Facebook uh, widget in my lockbox. So I'm actually going to come out of full screen for a second. And you see here I've got the address, which is facebook.com slash Wade L. McMaster. So I'm gonna just go up here, select and copy the full URL, including the HTTPS of the uh, address out of Facebook. I'm gonna knock, go on over to Google. I'm gonna search for Facebook page plugin. And we're not looking for, despite how this looks, we're actually not looking for a plugin. It's actually just a bit of code that we copy and paste quite easily. So the first one we get here is page plugins for developers.facebook.com, page plugin, social plugin, Facebook for developers. We're gonna click on that result. I will pop this link into the description below as well, so you can just go straight there. But if you want a nice, simple, easy to remember way of finding the page, just searching for it on Google is pretty effective. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, so I've got another page up there I run, already pasted. So you see it's got page plugin and we've got some options here. I'm gonna get a Facebook page URL. I'm going to remove this. I'm gonna paste in the link to my page. Now if I scroll down, you'll see a little preview here of how that will work. Now, basically, under the tabs here, we've got timeline. We've got a I'm not gonna to be too concerned about that, but just for super basics, we can basically put a small header in here, make the header smaller. If you really are short on space, I can hide the cover photo altogether. I can show friends faces if I want to. I'm gonna turn that one off. And you can basically, uh, yes, adapt plugin container with. I recommend leaving that on for switching between say different devices. But you can have a very basic thing like this. You can even have the full header, but without the image. So you've got a few options on how you want that to look. I generally prefer the full look. I guess it depends on the design of your site. Sometimes it might be better to have something much simpler. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You've got your few options there. Now my sidebar, I'm gonna say is about 350 pixels. Doesn't matter too much because I have got adapt to plug in container width. And I wanna make it about, let's say 500 pixels tall. Now if you wanna go crazy, I'm not sure what the maximum height is, but you can probably type in up to a thousand if you wanted to and have this really, really long version of it. So if you wanted to actually pop that in there, you can do that. But a nice compact version is good because it does everything you want it to do. People can scroll down through your feed and see what you've got to offer. Once you've got these little bits and pieces where you want them, you simply scroll down and we click get code. Now before we do that, I mean, you can go in and add some settings in above using these little bits and pieces, but for the sake of this, we're just gonna stick with the simple stuff. So we can click on get code here, just underneath the preview. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in here and it'll highlight the whole box. I'm gonna right click and go to copy. I'm gonna tab across to my widgets. 
I'm going to add in, if I scroll down here, you can add in a text widget if you want to, or I've got, I should have actually stayed up, custom HTML. Because I want that to pop in underneath the image, which I actually popped in a text box as well. It's been there for quite a while. I didn't use the image module, but I can put up here, find us on Facebook. And then I click in here and I paste that code I just copied. And then I simply tap across again. Then I click on the second box, right click and copy, tab across, and then I simply paste that in place. So I'm simply pasting one and then pasting the other. So there's like two snippets of code. I click save, I tab across, and then I refresh to check and see how it looks. And you'll see now that the Facebook page like box is loaded. You can now, you can see I already, already liked it, but you can, people can like right from your website, they can share it. Uh, so it's a very easy process, but something people probably aren't necessarily aware of how to, what to do, but it is not overly complicated. So I hope you found that useful. If uh, you were struggling, just trying to figure out how to, all the bits and pieces to make that happen. Once you know how to do it, like I said, it doesn't take very long to do. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. If you've got any other questions or things you want to figure out uh, with WordPress or Facebook, um, I'm very well versed in WordPress being a web designer. Facebook I know a lot about, but I'm not an expert. But please leave a comment below. We'll see if we can work something out and maybe we can do another video if you've got something you're looking for. Otherwise, please consider subscribing for more. And uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.